Assalamu alaikum and good morning to everybody. Distinguished guests, esteemed traditionists, friends of Ngang and the Habitat Foundation, fellow Indonesians. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to have the opportunity to address you all this special review of the I and I photographic exhibition. This exhibition features captivating images by some of the world's most celebrated wildlife photographers. The focus on one subject below, wild tiger. Ladies and gentlemen, it is unfortunate that we find ourselves at a unique and sobering point in history in which we humans have extracted, exhausted, and degraded the resources of our planet to the extent that the very survival of all living things is in the question. Today, our generation and the generations that come after us will have to face the challenges of changing climate and biodiversity norms. The crisis that has befallen Tigris in the world in many ways reflects the cry of our people and in the 1900s, the tiger population was estimated at 100,000 nine subspecies. Tigers could be found in over 30 countries. By 2010, the tiger population had been decimated. Today, there are only 13 tiger rich countries and only five subspecies now remain. In Malaysia, the Malay tigers, long revered as the symbol of strength and fear, has been brought to the brink of extinction population now estimated at fewer than 150. Ladies and gentlemen, more than a year ago, understanding the key role that Paham has to play in the mission to save the Malay tiger, I made a solemn pledge that I would do everything in my power and ability to save the Malay tiger. I call upon my government, the state of Paham, to implement three urgent actions to conserve the Malay tiger. Our first target was to establish effective enforcement units to eradicate the scourge of poaching in our forests and bring wrongdoers to justice. Second, we initiated the process of safeguarding all tiger habitats, starting with the greater Kamunga landscape to ensure that tigers have sufficient and wide areas to walk in. Third, we initiated actions to restore the connectivity of important wildlife corridors and settled wild spines. I am proud to stand before you now to say that we have boldly taken the actions necessary to fulfill this pledge. In August 2023, we gazetted the Al Sultan Abdullah Royal Tiger Reserve. This will place under active protection an area of forest of about 134,000 hectares in size. It will enlarge the tiger landscape already being protected by Tamangara National Park, which was established by my great grandfather together with the states of Kelantan and Tragandu in the early 1930s. The creation of the new tiger reserve is just the beginning. We must waste no time in implementing conservation actions on the ground. To translate our strong resolve into action, a new agency has been created. The Bahang State Park Corporation was established in 2021 and is rising to the challenge of managing the tiger reserve and other new state parks. Established. Work has already begun to patrol and crack down on poachers within the tiger reserve. Ranger teams are being trained in surveillance and enforcement, and I am pleased to note the high level of collaboration among key agencies with the teams on the ground. The management plan is being developed, and efforts are underway to enable community participation in the development of the reserve forest restoration efforts and optimizing new economic and employment opportunities. For now, much of this work is being made possible with the technical contribution of the Rainforest Trust that has funded some of the establishment costs for the first few years. We will need to sustain the allocation of funding and resources to drive conservation efforts and to implement initiatives to protect tiger habitat, boost prey populations, combat poaching and raise awareness. I believe that the Malayan tiger can be saved, but this effort will require nothing less than a whole of society approach and also a whole of government approach. Protecting the remaining tigers and enabling wild population to recover will require an unprecedented level of cooperation and purposeful action. No single organization or government can achieve the monumental task of saving the Malayan.
Conservation requires impact at the front. We must forge alliances, build networks, and leverage the expertise of diverse stakeholders, governments, NGOs, and different communities. Only through effective collaboration can we leverage our collective strength and maximize our impact. On this note, I would like to express my biggest appreciation to save wild tigers for its commitment, keeping this plight of wild tigers in the eye for extremely advocating for urgent conservation actions and for raising and directly funding to organizations combating the brutal illegal trade in tiger parks. I'm excited to pull the exhibition of photographs from tiger landscapes around the world. I have no doubt that each image is part of more for the wildlife of the most involved. For their dedication and sacrifice, they have my admiration. By capturing the beauty and grace of wild tigers wherever they are found, they remind us that these beautiful animals are worth fighting for. I would also like to thank them for generously donating these images so that the proceeds of their sale can go towards tiger conservation efforts. I am grateful that the Habitat Foundation, which is one of the beneficiaries of the exhibition, has made a commitment to channel all funds raised to its Faham Conservation Fund. This fund will be used for critical conservation actions and to strengthen our Faham State Park Corporation to be impactful in protecting the new tiger reserve with the, news, with the support of Ungang Holding. Looking around the room this morning, I am delighted to see so many people that have been part of our journey to save the living life of all the parts here. I also acknowledge the practitioners, experts and advocates whose tirelessly efforts have played a critical role in tiger conservation in other states. Your efforts are helping to keep both alive. It is only in combining our efforts that we will be able to succeed in our quest to bring about the wild recovery of the Malay tiger and restore it to its rightful place as the king of the jungle. Thank you for your support and enjoy the exhibition.